my friends at uh, L'Arche um, and I hope this rather impersonal way of bringing some greetings to you will convey my appreciation for all the work that you have done in Canada and around the world to advance the understanding and the appreciation of people who are vulnerable, people particularly who have uh, disabilities. As you enter another stage in your journey, uh, I think of the challenges that the world of social innovation, which I've been part of for the last dozen years or so, has suggested, uh, which is the importance of impact. And how often impact is described as a, a statutory challenge, a strategic challenge, a programmatic challenge, but I actually think it's a cultural challenge, which is exactly what L'Arche uh, specializes in. The dilemma is that we often get waylaid in our journey by spending time on data, on statistics, on financing, on laws, on regulations, on making our programs more efficient, and we forget that uh, the thing that has brought us, particularly L'Arche, to the point that it is at, is its commitment to uh, engaging with Canadians, to engaging with culture. Um, I use the word engagement and not shifting or not changing because we are changed through our engagement. And what I particularly appreciate about L'Arche and the message of uh, Jean Vanier is that all of us are capable of uh, living a good life, helping each other out and caring for each other. Um, so there is no elite. Uh, it is what uh, the great American writer calls a, a resurrection of the ordinary. And this may be what uh, Jean uh, refers to when he talks about the difference between being a rabbit and being a, a giraffe. He declares that he's a rabbit, which is hard for me to appreciate because he's such a tall man. But I think what he means, at least metaphorically or symbolically, is that rabbits go about their business day to day, doing the work, uh, and uh, confident, having faith that their love, their generosity, uh, their toil, will make a difference, not only uh, in the short term, but will also have an impact in the long term. Social innovation world that I come from, uh, they often talk about impact uh, in terms of scaling. Well, that's kind of like the work of the giraffe. I think that's what Jean means by that. And so uh, scaling suggests a mountain. <laughs> and uh, the work of scaling mountains is uh, seems to be the task that many in the social innovation world, many in the change-making world, have set for themselves. Um, and what I've discovered after working with uh, people who have in some way or another scaled their innovation, scaled their projects, scaled their program, is that when you reach the top of the mountain, as hard as that is, when you look out, all you see are more mountains beckoning. And on those mountains are people just like you, who have labored for years and years and years to perfect an invention or an innovation of theirs. And when you look out at those other mountains and see people like you on them, you come to the startling uh, realization that those are people just like you and that you're going to need them to fulfill your ultimate mission. And the only way you can do that it's not by coming down from your mountain and climbing up theirs. You won't live long enough for that. It is to come down from the mountain and to work in the valley. And so valley work, I think, is the work of culture. It's the work of engaging with culture, and it's the work of L'Arche. Uh, my best wishes to L'Arche as you continue uh, the work in the valley, in the valley, either as rabbits or giraffes or change makers, 
uh, but as good people who are rallying other good people uh, to uh, do our best with the challenges that we face.